a really big God bless you friends. I just wanted to share something that is really important. Be careful. Let's be careful what information we subject ourselves to. Some people, friends, they are endlessly looking at conspiracy theories and they are sucked into a world of lies in an effort to uncover the truth. They get sucked into a world of lies. Friends, there's so much disinformation out there, a lot of it disseminated by governments and the secret services. Disinformation, intentional, deceptive information to muddy the waters, to discredit truthers, to discredit people who are trying to expose what is going on. Friends, there's enough out there without having everything as a conspiracy theory. Friends, the further down the rabbit hole you go, the, the further uh, deception um, we are going to encounter. Friends, let's have a discerning heart. Let's not suddenly disbelieve every single thing that we hear um, because, friends, there's some bizarre there's some bizarre things out there that people are believing in. Christians are believing in and everything is a conspiracy theory. Uh, friends, let's be wise because it discredits us. Uh, above all, friends, it discredits the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, people aren't going to really listen to us if, when we're preaching the gospel if they think that we've been taken by all kinds of bizarre ideas they would just say well you you're, you're just you're just you're just a wacko you're just weird and you just believe anything that you hear and and jesus christ well he's just another uh thing that you believe in which isn't true friends it discredits the gospel it discredits also the truth movement friends those who are actually exposing the lies of the last few years you know if people say oh you're one of those who believe in this, that or the other. And uh, oh, and you also believe that the, the jab is unsafe. And, and so that gets discredited as well, friends. But it discredits Christianity. It discredits Christians. It discredits the truth movement. And above all, friends, it discredits our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, let's have a discerning heart. Let's have a discerning heart. Let's Let's really think about what we are exposing ourselves to because, friends, a lot of that stuff has a spirit on it, a spirit of deception, you see, because the devil is the father of lies and he will suck us down into a vortex, friends, of, of total deception. The further down the rabbit hole we go, the, the worse it gets. And in an effort to find the truth, we can be living a complete and utter lie. Friends, let's not become a laughing stock. Let's be very wise uh, what we engage ourselves in. And friends, above all friends, if it becomes that if it becomes that that's all we're focusing on uh, and we've really we really have then lost sight of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the ultimate. He is our our first love. Friends, let's make sure that we are focusing on Jesus Christ. So, friends. Let's have a discerning heart. Let's not see everything as a conspiracy theory. Let's not get sucked in to the deception. Let's, let's be aware that there is such a thing called disinformation that our governments and all kinds of nefarious people disseminate in order to discredit and to uh, defame the name of the Lord and uh, to really discredit Christians and to discredit anyone who is trying to speak for the truth in a world of lies. So a really big God bless you, just a very short message. Let's uh, really be alert. Let's have a discerning heart, friends. It's one of the uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit to have discernment. To have discernment, friends. Let's not get sucked in in an effort to see the truth. Let's not get sucked into a world of lies. A really big God bless you. Love you always. And I'll speak to you again another time.